And hello everyone, it's time for one of my world famous flashlight comparisons. I have three lights here that are pretty much of equal size, but not of equal performance. From bottom to top, they are basically good, better, best. So, let's name them all. From the bottom, we have the A100 flashlight. Doesn't particularly matter which brand this one is. Several brands make it and they're all the same. The one in the middle is slightly different because it's an Oxy LED. An Oxy LED is more of a brand in itself and I believe their light is more consistently of higher quality than some of the others that look just like it and perform just like it. They are both zoomable flashlights where the head moves back and forth and narrows and widens the beam. So that's number, that's the one on the bottom and the one in the middle uh, being the A100 and the Oxy LED. The one on the top is a Lumen Top TD16 flashlight which is a better quality than the other two. So let's start first by looking at the differences in the beam tint between the first two lights because there is a difference in those. They all take 18650 batteries and the uh, A100 is, I'm not sure even if that's advertised uh, as far as its uh, output is concerned, it's about three to four hundred lumens as far as I can tell. The Oxy in the middle is advertised at 800 lumens and I think that's more correct as far as uh, actual advertised output. The lumen top on top is about 900, a little more than between 900 and 1,000 lumens. So, okay. So, let us take a look at the beam color or the beam tint between the first two. So, we'll take the uh, A100 here and place that right there. And then I'll place the uh, Oxy LED next to that. Okay, both are pretty much on equal. Uh, equal zoom at the moment. Let me step back. Now I think you can probably tell a little bit of the difference in color. It may not be terribly terribly obvious. Let me see if this helps. Okay, can you see the difference in beam color? You have the A100 on the left and the oxy on the right. And that's your difference in beam color. The oxy tends to be a little bit whiter or a little bit creamier and the A100 tends to be on the blue side if you're if you can't tell the difference. But well, that is the difference. One is blue and the other is whiter. Not pure white, but whiter. Okay? So that is the difference in beam tint or color temperature, however you want to uh, classify that. All right, I will now take the A100 and I will shine that down to the end of the area here. It's on, let me see, oops, I have to turn off another light here. This is getting in the way. All right, it's now at about uh, three quarters zoom. And now it's on full zoom. And this is what you see with it on full zoom at a distance of about 60 feet. And this is the A100. So as I pull back, you can see that the brightness disappears as the, uh, as the breadth of the beam increases. So now you can no longer see anything other than what is directly in front of you. So 5, 10, you know, 15, 20 feet in front of you is the most distance you'll get when the beam is in this mode. I'm wiggling it around, but you really can't tell. Okay, so anyway, um, that is the A100, and this is on full beam, just like this. And now I'm moving it ahead a little bit and narrowing the beam down. And the camera can focus a little bit, but that's what you get with it narrowed down. Okay, let me take the uh, other light now. I'll take the Oxy LED. And remember, that was on full power, what I was just showing you a moment ago. That was on high mode. And this is also on high mode. This is the Oxy. And 
here we go down to the full zoom once again. I think you might be able to tell that it's a little bit brighter than the A100 was. It's um, not very possible for me to put them side by side. I can give it a try, but anyway, uh, this is the Oxy. And as we pull back, again, you can see the brightness disappear as the breadth of the, as the width of the beam increases. And here we are again in close range with the Oxy LED. And zooming forward once again. In this particular setting like this, I suppose it's harder to tell the color or the tint of the beam, as I was demonstrating a few moments ago um, with it in this. Let me see. With it like this, it's a little bit harder to tell the color. But let me see if I can place the uh, other one side by side. There they are. Okay, there they are side by side. I think you can see some of the color now with the A100 being here on the left and the Oxy on the right. Okay. So, those are those two. Now let me take the lumen top just for comparative purposes. Here's the lumen top. Now remember the lumen top does not zoom. It is a fixed beam light and right now it is on low. Here's medium and here's high. So here we are on the top mode on the lumen top and that's what you see with that one. There's no focusing of the beam. It is fixed. So there's high. Once again there's low there's medium and there's high. And this is what you get on the lumen top at close range. And again, there it is at the full 60 feet thereabouts. So, anyway, that's your comparison. That is the three flashlights. They're all of pretty much equal size. But as you can see, they're not completely of equal personality or performance. But they are certainly different from one another. And uh, you can certainly pick any one of these up as the flashlight of your choice, however you think will um, suit your needs. But again, I'm just showing you the differences between all three. And there are links below for all three of them as well. But anyway, that's just your comparison to show as far as size-wise is concerned and the um, beam distances or the, and the beam tints of each light. Now, of course, when I put these heads in or slide them back to their regular focusing mode, then they tend to be just a tad smaller than, uh, than the lumen top. So there you have them all again. With the, with the top two and their heads put forward or, you know, with their heads in normal position and uh, the lumen top is on the bottom and it doesn't move at all. So there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed the video and you can always check out lights and gear for flashlights, batteries, chargers, and so forth. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.